Thanks for purchasing Kubota DC60 Combine Harvester. In order to ensure that you can use the product safely and right for a long time, we will explain the right maintenance method to you in this video. This video has the following contents. 1. Safe operation. 2. Routine cleaning and maintenance. 3. Periodic maintenance. 4. Maintenance after seasons. Kubota gives top priority to user safety. In order to ensure safe operation, please be sure to comply with the following items. Please carefully read and fully understand the contents of the operation manual before using this combine. When inspecting, maintaining, cleaning and lubricating the machine, be sure to stop the engine and remove the key. Please do not open the pressure cap of the radiator and auxiliary water tank until the engine is cool. When raising the reaper and making the inspection, cleaning or adjusting, please lock up the reaper lowering lock plate to ensure the reaper won't go down, and then begin the operation. Do not arbitrarily modify the harvester. For the details of security precautions, Please refer to the operation manual. Two, routine cleaning and maintenance. To avoid combine trouble and malfunction during harvest operation and ensure a long-term use, it's very important to clean the machine. When cleaning with water, do not sprinkle water on electrical components or it will lead to machine failure. Please clean the dustproof net of the engine room with a soft brush. Do not let the fin deform when sweeping the radiator fin. Please clean up the mud on the cutting blade or under the auger drum. Please open the upper cleaning port of the feeder conveyor and clean up inside. Please remove all the side covers of the thresher portion and then clean up the dust around each drive belt. There are cleaning covers on the bottom of the number 1 and number 2 screw. After removing wing bolts, clean it up after removing the bottom covers. Do not mount the bottom covers of the number 1 and number 2 screw by mistake. The left end of the cover of number 1 screw is beveled processed. There is a cleaning port in the joint part of number 1 vertical screw and horizontal screw. Remove the cover and clean inside. After harvesting the wet crops, the sieve case will be accumulated by straw crumbs. Open the left side cover plate in the threshing room and then clean it up. Clean the concave at the same time. Please use the oil feeder to lubricate the cutting blade of the reaper portion and the plastic part of the raking finger. Method of lubricating the three chains of the reaper portion. Please use the oil feeder to lubricate all the oil holes in the right amounts. Be careful while lubricating because the machine is running. Remove the cover. Add appropriate grease to the two nipples of the fulcrum that controls the reaper raising and lowering with the lubricating gun. Remove all the side covers of the thresher portion. Paint grease on the tension fulcrum of drive belts with brush. All of the load rollers, carrier roller and tension roller of the traveling portion have grease nipples. Add appropriate grease to each grease nipple with the lubricating gun. In addition, Paint grease on tense bolts of the crawler with brush. Finally, as you see now, paint grease with brush on the connection position where moved with handle to the left and right. With the passage of time, 
there will be a certain degree of performance degradation. In order to give full play to the performance of Combine and extend its life, it's important to make a regular inspection and maintenance for it. Maintenance of the Reaper Portion First, introduce the inspection and adjustment method of cutting blade. Make sure the clearance between the reaping blade and the pressure ring is between 0.3 to 1 millimeter, a total of 5. If the clearance is too large, please adjust it in this way. Remove the two fixed nuts, remove the pressure ring, and adjust it through changing the amount of shim under it. When the cutting blade edge wears out or is broken, please contact the dealer. The inspection and adjustment of the drive chain of the reaper portion. Lower the reaper portion down to the ground and stop the engine. Confirm the length of the mounting portion of the monitor scale and the tension bolt. If less than one millimeter, please adjust it to a standard of nine to eleven millimeters. The inspection and adjustment of chains of the feeding device. Remove the right cover plate of the feeding device and the upper clean port cover plate. Adjust the clearance between feeder plate mounted on the conveyor chain of the feeding device and the bottom plate into 0.5 to 2 millimeters. Unscrewing the left and right bolts of the feeding device drum. Unscrew the lock nuts fixing the left and right tension bolts and adjust it through adjusting the nut. When adjust the tension of the chain conveyor, please follow the chain on the right hand. The adjustment of the left and right tension bolts should be equal, or the feeder plate will tilt to left or right, which can lead to machine failure. The inspection and adjustment of drive chain of the feeding auger. Remove the right down cover plate of the reaper portion. Check whether the length of the tension spring of the feeding auger's driving chain is between 149 to 151 millimeters. Loosen the lock nut and adjust it through adjusting the nut. The inspection and adjustment of the reel's drive chain. This is an automatic tension structure. When the chain is loose, please contact the dealer. The inspection and adjustment of the harvest drive belts. Remove the left cover plate. Loosen the lock nuts. Adjust it through adjusting nut. When the harvest clutch lever is in the position of on, adjust the length of the tension spring to 123 to 127 millimeters and then tighten the lock nuts. The inspection and adjustment of the reversing driving belts Remove the front cover plate of the Thresher drive gear case. Lower the acceleration lever to the slowest position. Loosen the two locking bolts of the connecting rod on the reversing clutch. Close the reversing clutch strongly. Ensure the clearance of connecting rods on the reversing clutch and acceleration lever bar is between 13 to 15 millimeters. Tighten the locking bolts of the connecting rod. The inspection and adjustment of the reel drive belts. Remove the right front cover plate of the reaper portion. Loosen the lock nuts. Adjust the length of the tension spring through adjusting nut to 177 to 179 millimeters. And then tighten the locking nuts. Lift the reel to its highest position on the flat ground. Then stop the engine. Check the auger drum and the raking finger. If they get deformed or damaged, please contact the dealer. Confirm the clearance between the vein of auger drum, raking finger, and the bottom plate of the reaper portion. Adjust it if it is not between 6 to 8 millimeters. The adjustment of auger drum. Loosen the nuts of the auger drum adjusting plates in left and right hand. After loosening the lock nuts, use the adjusting nut to adjust the clearance. After adjusting, tighten the lock nuts and then tighten the nuts of the auger drum adjusting plate. 
the adjustment of raking finger. Slightly loosen the bolts on the left hand of auger drum of the reaper portion. Insert the hole of the adjusting shaft with metal bar. Rotate the adjusting shaft and then adjust the clearance between the front end of the raking finger and the bottom plate of the reaper portion. If the reel is placed very low in the harvest operation, it may deform the tines of reel. Please adjust in time. Maintenance of the threshing portion. The inspection and adjustment of the thresher drive belts. Please put the threshing clutch lever in the position of on to ensure the inner size of the tension spring is between 378 to 382 millimeters. Adjust with the nut you see now. The thresher drive belts consist of two tooth belts. Please replace the two belts at the same time. The inspection and adjustment of the threshing drum drive belt. To ensure its tension spring's inner size is between 129 to 135 millimeters. Adjust with the nut you see now. If the belt is damaged, change two belts at the same time. The inspection and adjustment of screw 1 and 2 drive belts. To ensure their tension spring's inner size is between 122 to 128 millimeters. Adjust with the nut you see now. The inspection and adjustment of the vibrating sieve case belt. To ensure its tension spring's inner size is between 120 to 126 millimeters. Adjust with the nut you see now. Here is the method of inspecting and adjusting the threshing room. There are four concaves with the same shape. If the front two are abraded, please exchange with the rear two. In this way it will use longer. When measuring the clearance between the threshing teeth and the concave, if the clearance is not between 16 to 19 millimeters, please adjust to change the threshing teeth rod. In the process of adjustment, loosen the set bolt of the threshing teeth rod. Pull up and down its two ends to a proper place and then tighten the bolt. If such adjustment cannot perform as required, please change the threshing teeth rod. The front threshing tooth wears severely than the rear one, so it requires periodic change with a life cycle of 300 hours. In the process of change, please exchange the position of the threshing teeth at both ends of the threshing teeth rod. Notice, in the process of assembling threshing teeth, the bending direction is opposite to the direction of rotation. Inspection method of thresher drive gear case oil. Please remove the front cover of the thresher drive gear case and the oil port bolt which is coated with red paint on the thresher drive case. If oil overflows from the oil port, it shows the amount of oil is proper. If not, please add oil into it. Maintenance of the traveling portion. We can adjust the tension force of traveling drive belts through adjusting the length of the tension spring. To ensure it is between 184 and 188 millimeters, please adjust with the nut you see now. The traveling drive belt consists of two tooth belts. If it is damaged, replace both at the same time. Checking and adjustment of the crawler tension. Put the jack on the position you see now. And then jack up the machine. When the crawler is 10 centimeters away from the ground, check whether the clearance between the fourth track roller from the front side and the inner crawler is between 10 to 15 millimeters. Please adjust it if it is too large. Pull out the snap pin, remove the set parts, and rotate the tension bolts of the crawler to tighten it. If the crawler is over tightened, it will lead to abnormal wear of the crawler inner iron and the damage of the axle shaft. If the crawler is over loosened, it will lead to the drop off of the crawler. Adjust early after 20 hours of its operation, once every 100 hours.
The crawler drive sprocket belongs to consumables. DC-60 Combine adopts two-piece sprockets with the same left and right wheel. If one-third of the teeth width is abraded, exchange the left and right sprocket. Move the combine in a straight line and stop when the left and right sprockets are in the position of half touching the crawler. And then stop the engine. Remove three bolts. Remove half the sprocket. Exchange the left and right ones. Change the other side in the same way. If both sides of the sprocket are damaged, replace them with new ones. Exchange the left with right sprockets after an operation of 200 hours. Replace the sprocket after 400 hours. Without a timely replace or exchange, it will lead to an early damage of the crawler. Check the amount of the oil by removing the oil checking bolt coated with red paint in the left middle side of the transmission case. If oil overflows from the oil port, it shows the amount of oil is proper. If not, please add oil into it. When replacing the transmission oil, remove the oil discharge bolt below the transmission case. Drain the transmission oil. After that, screw up the oil discharge bolt with wrench. When filling the transmission oil, remove the rubber plug in its upper side. Remove the oil amount checking bolt at the same time. Then fill Kubota UDT oil or hydraulic oil recommended by Kubota with funnel till it overflows from the oil port. The hydraulic oil can drive HST. Directional cylinder and the raising and lowering of reel. Being a drive of important parts it requires a regular inspection and replacement. When inspecting the amount of the hydraulic oil, please remove the oil checking bolt coated with red paint in the middle of the oil tank. If oil overflows from the oil port, it shows the amount of oil is proper. If not, please add oil into it. When replacing the hydraulic oil, remove the oil discharge bolt below the oil tank and drain the hydraulic oil. After that, please screw up the oil discharge bolt with wrench. The hydraulic oil filter is on the upper side of the HST. When replacing the hydraulic oil, please replace the oil filter at the same time. When installing a new filter, apply a little hydraulic oil on the rubber sealing ring of the filter with finger and screw it up by hand. When filling the hydraulic oil, please remove the plastic plug on the upper side of the hydraulic oil tank. Then fill Kubota UDT oil or hydraulic oil recommended by Kubota with funnel till it overflows from the oil port. Maintenance of the engine portion. The inspection and replacement of air cleaner elements. When carrying out harvest operation, it's better for the users to inspect and clean the air pre-cleaner every day. There is a white line showing the cleaning time in the air pre-cleaner. But when dust accumulates in the dust cup, it's better to clean by removing it. There is a valve which can discharge large amounts of dust on the cover of the air cleaner. Before the daily operation, please hold the front end of the valve. Discharge the dust in the air cleaner cover. There is a digital dust indicator which can notify users to clean the air cleaner. During the harvest operation, if red appears on the inner side of the digital dust indicator, it shows that the inner filter element has been dirty or plugged. Please remove its cover. Pull out its outer filter element. Purging from the inner side by compressed air. The pressure cannot be higher than 2.1 kilograms F slash C square meter or shake the outer filter slightly to clean up the dust. After that, please press the reset button. Do not remove the inner filter element to clean. Change the inner and outer filter elements at the same time after 300 hours. Notice the direction of the air filter's cover when installing arrow upward. 
the inspection and replacement of the engine oil. Please remove the access cover under the driver's seat. Pull out the engine oil gauge and check whether the engine oil is between its upper mark and lower mark. If the engine oil is too much, it will lead to a state of bad operation or under power. If too little, it will lead to the inadequate lubrication of the engine parts and cause severe malfunction. When replacing the engine oil, remove the oil discharge bolt on the main frame, which is under the engine room. Drain the engine oil. Notice whether gasket seal is good. If not, please replace it with a new one. After draining the engine oil, please screw up the oil discharge bolt. The filter element of the engine oil is behind the engine. When replacing the engine oil, please replace the filter element of the engine oil at the same time. When replacing the filter element, please remove the filter element with filter wrench. Installing new filter, please apply a little engine oil on the rubber sealing ring of the filter with finger and then screw it up by hand. When filling the engine oil, please remove the access cover and then fill oil with funnel. After that, please pull out the engine oil gauge and check whether the amount of engine oil meets a requirement. Please use Kubota Genuine Oil only or oil recommended by Kubota and replace it according to the specified time. All the details of the oil replacing time capacity, type, and so on, please refer to the attached operation manual. Here is the inspection and adjustment method of the cooling system. When adjusting the tension of the fan belt, please press the central part of the belt with finger on the part shown in the picture with a power of 6 to 7 kilograms. The standard of the belt slack amount is between 7 to 9 millimeters. If the fan belt is loose, Please unscrew the bolt of alternator. Push the alternator forward and tighten the fan belt properly. In this situation, tighten the bolt. Open the engine room to check the engine cooling water. Please check whether the level of the engine cooling water is between low and full on the auxiliary tank. Check before harvest operation every day. If the level is below low, please open the auxiliary tank cover, add water into it to make the target level slightly below the full scale mark. When adding water, distilled water is recommended. In the case of lack of distilled water, purified water can also be used to replace. The engine cooling water should be changed every two years. When changing cooling water, please remove the drain plug to drain cooling water. After that, screw up the drain plug with wrench. Unscrew the upper cover of the water tank. Tighten it after adding the coolant. And start the engine. About 5 minutes operation. Check the amount of the coolant in the main tank again. If it is not enough, please add coolant into it. the inspection of fuel. The combine has water separator and fuel filter which are used to remove water and impurities in the fuel. If there is water in the water separator the red float will float up. When it arrives to the white line please turn the switch to the position of close and then remove the ring nut. Clean up the water and impurities in the water separator. When you reinstall, be sure to install the rubber sealing ring and the red float. Please change the fuel filter element every 400 hours. When changing it, please shut down the switch of the water separator and then remove the fuel filter element with filter wrench. When installing a new fuel filter element, Paint some engine oil on the rubber sealing ring of the filter with finger and then screw it up with hand. Do not use tools such as filter element wrench when installing. All the belts and chains of DC-60 combine harvester should be adjusted after 20 hours. After that, adjust once every 100 hours.
seasons. Clean up the machine after seasons. Because there will be a long time not to use the machine, you should do the following work. Clean up the radiator, dust cover, and the oil cooler. Notice if there are grains and straws left in the machine. They will appeal to mice biting wire, so please be sure to clean it up. Wash the machine with water, and then dry it with a cloth. To avoid rusting, lubricate every chain and rotary friction parts, repaint on the paint peeling off area. Remove the battery from the machine. Add the electrolyte to the specified amount. After charging, put it in a place where the sun cannot directly shine on. The battery will discharge naturally even in the course of being idled, so charge it every two months. Make sure to remove the cathode of the battery before the machine is in storage. Loosen the crawler after finishing the inspection and adjustment. Loosen all the belts and chains of the reaper portion and threshing portion. If available, immerse the chains in the oil, which can extend the life of chains. Lower down the reaper portion after putting every operating lever in the position of off. Remove the key. For the details not mentioned in this video, please refer to the operation manual. Where there is field, there is Kubota. Thanks for purchasing Kubota DC60 Combine Harvester.